Well, this guide will demonstrate how to use the mobile app Rust Plus to notify you when your SAMS sites have been taken out so you can get online and potentially prevent an MLRS strike. The components that are going to be needed for this are one large rechargeable battery, three SAM sites, 10 electrical branches, four blockers, two timers, two OR switches, one AND switch, one XOR switch, one siren light, and finally, one smart alarm. So we'll just move inside so we can do the wiring. First off, we're gonna set up the SAM sites and uh, get those powered. So we'll start by placing six branches. And three blockers. Disconnect the battery after we're making the cable red. Try and make these cables fairly easy to follow. Right, and we're going to change all these to 30, the bottom ones to 30. And then these ones we need to change to 1. Right. Connect the bottom three together. Now right, we're going to change the colour of our cable to green and then connect uh, these branches to the above. And then keeping the colour of the cable the same, we're going to connect each of our uh, SAM sites up. Okay, now I'm going to try and keep these cables uh, so it's easy to follow. That's the first one. Second. And then the third one. Right, now we're going to connect the left hand side up to the branch. We'll change the colour to cyan. Of these go directly up to the branch above. Oh yeah, and then with the we change this to blue. These are going to be sensors now, so we're going to take these down and connect each of the sound sites to the path. Now, because we're sending more than 25, the path through is going to give you a value of four. This is so we can connect things later on to the sensors out and not uh, interfere with the power on this. So now we're going to put it over a little bit. sensors to it so that's just, this is all the part that uh, sends through as soon as the SAM site is taken out so now we're going to put up two more switches and then we're going to connect the blockers into these so on the first blocker and we'll change it all to blue so the first one the second one goes into the first one as well and we send the first one 
into the second one, and then the third block into that. Now we want to add a, an AND switch. This would be when uh, you get a signal for one of your SAMs being taken out. We'll increase the voltage from one to uh, however much we need. So this goes into the input A, and then we take it from the bottom branch, we'll, uh, cable to red, and put it into the other side. So any remaining uh, power from the branch now goes now will go straight through as soon as both of those uh, get a signal. So, right. So what are we doing next? Right, so we we'll need to put in another branch. This is the actual alarm where we actually send pulses uh, down our uh, Rust Plus app. So we're going to put in an X1 switch. And take the power from the hand switch and put it into the branch. On the left hand side power into the XOR switch, set that value to 2, it doesn't change it at all, and then we're going to put in another branch, and a timer, right, let's see what, what we're doing now, right, uh, Power from here, which is the right hand side, we take down and put into the branch. We set this to one. And then from here, on the right hand side, we put down to the power in on the timer. Then from this one, with left hand side, we change the colour to purple. And we're going to put that into the trigger. We'll toggle on. Right, now we're going to put in another branch, followed by a blocker, and then a timer, and now we're going to want to put a branch above the timer. Right, so we'll change it to red again, we'll take it from the output on the timer, and into the blocker. Uh, set this to 1 again, and we're going to put this to 1. From this side, we go down and put it into the timer. I want to change this to pink, so we'll go up and across. To the toggle. This we set to 2, this one to 20, so this is how long um, we're going to be setting it to, and this is the interval, so it would go for 20 seconds every 2 seconds, and then it would stay on permanently. So now, oh, this is in the wrong place, we need to put this into the blocker, and from the blocker, we put into the toggle. Right, and then from here, we change to red, and this goes up and into the branch. change it to yellow and this then goes across and down to the right and that's almost it now we'll just turn this to red and we're going to put this across into the XOR switch and then we're going to want to put our siren light up and our smart alarm so the siren light will go here and the smart alarm will go down here right now from the XOR switch which we're going to change to orange we take the power to and then out and across to the smart alarm and then we do want to pair this to our rust plus so we uh, click on pair You'll need to go into the app and uh, make sure that it's all paired up properly. And that's it. So if we test it now by simulating the destruction of a SAM site by disconnecting it, 
You can see it's uh, sending a pulse every two seconds, and that should last for 20 seconds, and then it will just be telling you that, that there's something wrong with the SAMs. And there we go, it's now giving you a constant signal, so your app's just going to be telling you there's something wrong with your SAMs. We'll reconnect that, and that's it. If you like this video, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, I've left a link for the Rustrition in the uh, description as well. Thank you.